Okay guys, so I'm just going to get this last connection going, and that's the uh, the camera. So we've got the camera connection, got a bit of 5 volt, I know you can't see it very well from here, but everything now is soldered. Um, I've saved some extra bits of wire, so I decided to take the grounds away from the ESCs. And uh, all I'm going to do now is just pop this this camera connection back on so but those are the wires are pretty much all where they're supposed to be you know. it's going to be simple enough just to just to tap that on and there we go oh. number five on could have probably cleaned up these connections are a little tiny bit. Oh, sorry, that's not. I can't seem to get my my hands and my eyes coordinating in the same the same way. <laughs> so there we go. We got the cam on there. Sorry, you didn't actually get to see any of that. I wouldn't have thought so, my big club hands in the way. Just twist it up nicely. So that's it. I'm probably just going to tidy this up a little bit more. See if I can just wrap this round here. And uh, just, just so it looks a little bit more, um, you know, like in keeping with the other ones. Mm, that will annoy me. It shouldn't do, but it probably will do just because of the way it looks but so there we go we've got everything on so we've got the VTX connected here um, we've got the smart audio back on uh, RX4 we've got the uh, receiver on RX3 uh, RX TX3 and uh, ground positive over here and we've got the boy gum I hope I did that correctly and we've got the, <laughs> the satellite receiver and the magnetometer is connected underneath here somewhere and the satellite receiver is connected over here for power and on the uh, RX TX 3? No, 3, 4? Uh, 4, yeah, 4. So, so my smart audio then is now on. Hmm, hold on, what did I do there? TX2, RX2, I can't put it there. I need somewhere for my smart audio to go. Because I don't think that's, uh, I think I've put that actually on. <laughs> I think I've actually put that on S, but this is why I say, you know, you, you're best checking and checking again and checking again. Because, hey, we're all human, we, we make mistakes. It's, uh, you get into a little bit of a run on things and, yeah, I've actually put it on the S bus, so that's not going to work there. So what I'm going to do now is put it somewhere else, like over there on TX1, I think. I don't know why I did that. Why did I do that? I think it's because I was going to put the. Um, that's right. I considered putting the receiver on TX1, but then decided it might be better just being down here because the receiver sits about here. You see, and I plug it like this. So I figured uh, that maybe it'd be better than having this slightly shorter cable here and it not being able to fit in correctly. In actual fact, it, it fits more like that. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to do that. I'm gonna, just going to move this out of the way. I'm going to take the... Uh, I'm just trying to think which one's going to be less of a pickle. Because that's got to go in at the back here. And that just about fits. So I think, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take these off now. I'm going to get confused of which wire is which out of these two. Because we've already got a very small amount of room to work with. As you can see. So all I'll do is I'll look at the wiring diagram for the receiver. And then deduce from doing a continuity test between the, what, the connection up here and the wire down here, which one's which. And it won't really matter anyway, I mean, at the end of the day, all that will happen is it just won't work. Um, 
And I'm wondering whether even in the software, whether I could turn that round anyway. Possibly, but I'm not going to. I'll get I'll get it the right way round. Or maybe I'll just undo one at a time. That might be the way to do it. Do one at a time. Pull it across. Hopefully, it's all going to fit. If it doesn't, then I've made a bit of a boo boo. But that's you know. Hey man, that's life. That is life. So that was um. That's the transmit. And uh, this one is the receive. So as long as I don't. As long as I just prep this end as well, always a good idea just to chuck a little bit of solder on the pads because there's nothing on there at the moment. So if I just prep this end as well before I take that one off, I still know exactly which one's which. And I can just, uh, just warm the pads slightly. Don't want to leave it on there too long. Warm the pads slightly. There we go, that'll do. Because it's got a hole in it, which I don't really approve of those. I mean, it does make a great connection, but if you do something wrong, you know, if you do um, fall into that human error trap, which is, hey, easy done, then, uh, then yeah, you can uh, put the bus in. I'm just going to make sure that I actually get this right, because I don't want to keep getting in the soldering. It's quite a nice, neat soldering job, and I don't want to mess it up, really. So this is the receive. So if I keep that transmit to my fingers and I'll put the receive on here. If I keep saying it, you see I won't forget it. I know that if I just if I forget it for an instant, that means I've got to go through the palaver of figuring out which one's which. Oh I nearly did it there, I just questioned myself in my head and just remembered just very quickly receive, so hey it's fifty fifty, isn't it? But if I just remember that. So I just put this uh I can't stress as well as how much just a pair of tweezers is going to help you out doing little things like this because uh, that will make a difference. And actually, it looks like I've got a bit more, a bit more ease to go there. As long as it doesn't mind having the receiver, I don't see why it should have mind having the receiver. On, um, I mean, it's there to be used, right? That you are. I didn't see that it had a special purpose, looking like it can be used, but it can't actually be used. Well, there's transmit, I wonder if, because there's a TX5 there as well. But, I mean, that's going to be no good to me at the moment. But it might be worth me doing an experiment to see if I can actually connect to... Um, Uh, the you uh, are five in some fashion. There we go. Okay, so I know that's all going to fit. So now we just got a uh, we're on TX4, receive four for the um, GPS. We're on three uh, TX3 for the smart audio, and now we're on uh, TX and RX1 for the receiver. But there are the pads there for RX5. TX5 and a DAC. Alright, um, we've, even though it doesn't look like that one's connected on the 5 volt up to the board, of course I've done it underneath so I can still get in a chip as well without having the, the cables coming out the outside. I much prefer them when they're in the inside. This one here I've got no choice about, but the rest of it is all on the inside so. I do like that, and of course, you know, the ones that are going off outside, that's not the case, of course. Let me just make sure I can plug that camera in. Probably better off if I put it in the right way around. There we go. Now, this is because I was going to just have a little go out the other night. It's a night vision camera. It's the Night Eagle. And I was uh, just going to take it outside and have a little look, because it was really, really dark. I've done it before, but I just wanted to play around a little bit. I didn't actually go out. I had a couple of beers and fell asleep on the settee but there we go okay so right this is ready really to be um, connected up with the uh, video transmitter so here there's the video transmitter so that like I say look it just fits which is perfect I mean it's not going to go anywhere even in a crash um, so we just got to get the, the bolts on there that's still going to be ideal uh, get a nice little twist 
and if it's a little bit too long to my thinking I'll just twist it up a little tiny bit more that's fine and then that will fit in for the receiver and of course that's going to go up through the middle of the frame and through the middle of the frame and then sit into the back of the GPS uh, receiver hello my door just blew open <laughs> like hello come in all right so let me get the nuts and stuff on and um, I'll put the top back on and the now so for this board um, it's got the new firmware on I think I can't remember did we do that we did didn't we we did it the other day I put firmware on there um, so but I'd also copied my diff wall which means that my uh, magnetometer and those settings I can just transfer straight to the board again and so it'll have it for this but of course this is a different setup to what it came off and so um, it could be wrong for me to do it like that but to be honest with you I really do believe that I did it when I set it up I did it off the craft um, because of course there's going to be all sorts of noise coming from this I mean there's that much noise that when I do plug it in um, you're going to hear it through the microphone I heard that the other day and I got a funny feeling it's um, because this microphone is actually wired backwards they've used the ground as the uh, signal and they've used the inner red wire inside the sheath um, as the ground and so I'm not possibly maybe not getting um getting the amount of shielding that I, I should be getting from a shielded cable so I'll probably have to take that apart and, and do that I had to do it anyway one end because of the um, the cable had come loose and I kept thinking my phone was going nuts because it kept doing all sorts of silly things when I had it plugged in but it's because the cable was uh, the cable come loose right okay so I'm gonna now just sort out my soldering iron and we can turn that off because I'm gonna say that we should be okay that little correction there was good. I've looked over everything else. Keep looking over it while I'm doing. I'm just going to sort out that little VCC. Because it looks like a bit of a blob there. So I want it to look a little bit neater. But I don't want to disconnect the wire at the bottom. Because again, I've, I've done those wires at the bottom. I'm just going to have a little look at that. Because I've got a funny feeling of me just doing that. I've disconnected the ground. But no, I haven't. It's quite small of me to see now. I've just I got a um, a message from my optician telling me my glasses are ready to go and get. So that's going to be fantastic. Uh, no, no, that's not exactly true actually, because you can't just go in there and get them these days. You've got to set up an appointment to go in there and get them um, because of the old uh, common flu. So we're going to stick a nice bit of, I don't know if you can see that on there, but there's a nice bit of solder on there, just so I know. When it goes in, it switches off the air, it's not going to get to it and start gnarling up the tip. <coughs> Alright, okay guys, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go away, because I do need to get something to eat. I've not eaten uh, this morning, so I do need to get something to eat, and so I'm going to come back when I put the nuts on, and I'll put the top on. Um, and then we're going to see about positioning the GPS. Well, it can only go basically where I want it to, which is right above the stack. I want it to go because this is central, so I want it to be as central as possible. But that's what we got so far. I'm hoping it's not looking uh, too gnarly, because when I first did it, it looked quite tidy, and I was quite, quite happy with myself for it. See you in a bit. 